Now, this is the 5G network architecture. And in this 5G network architecture, these are the network functions that are there in the 5G core network. And these network functions in the 5G core network are further subdivided into the control plane functions and the user plane functions. And we can clearly see that there is a clear distinction between the network functions that are there in the control plane and the network functions that are there in the user plane. Now, what are the functions of the control plane? The control plane is responsible for the authentication of the user equipment. For example, when you turn on your user equipment or when this user equipment wants to make a call, it is authenticated by the control functions in order to determine that this is a genuine and legal user equipment that wants to use the services of this 5G network. Similarly, the connection management between the user equipment and the 5G network, it is also handled by the control plane functions. Similarly, the PDU session management is also handled by the control plane functions. For example, if we have a PDU session that is between the user equipment and the user plane function through the GNB, then the setup, the maintenance and the tear down of this PDU session is the responsibility of the control plane functions. Similarly, the mobility management is also handled by the control plane functions. For example, this user equipment is in a call and this user equipment is connected to this GNB. But if this user equipment moves away from the coverage area of this GNB and enters the coverage area of this GNB, then the handover of this user equipment from this GNB to this GNB, it is handled by the control plane functions. And then we have the user plane. In the user plane, we have user plane function. And this user plane function is responsible for the data traffic forwarding. For example, in this PDU session, we have two quality of service flows. Now the data that is coming from the data network, the forwarding of this data on these two quality of service flows is done by the user plane function. And then this data goes to the user equipment. Now, what is the advantage of this separation between the control plane and the user plane functions? The main advantage is the scalability. For example, in the user plane, if we want more capacity in the user plane, we can easily achieve this capacity by adding other user plane functions.